Hi everyone, I'm Hillary with Dominion T, and today we're going to talk about guy wands. So what is a guy wand? The name of it is actually means lidded bowl. So a guy wand has three parts. It has the lid, it has a bowl, and it has a saucer. So when did the guy wand come about? Uh, the Ming Dynasty with the development of porcelain right alongside the teapot. So the teapot exported out of China, the lidded bowl stayed in country and is still used today. But it is a fabulous way to really understand how to appreciate tea. So let's talk about guy wands and how to use them properly so you can take advantage of this. So because of modern day technology, your guy wand can come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, right? Really big guy down to the traditional small two ounce. Right. They can be earthenware. Keep in mind, just like the earthenware teapots, once you've chosen a tea for this guy wand, you're not going to change it out. However, with your glass and your porcelain that are glazed, you can absolutely change out the tea because you're going to be able to wash it thoroughly and remove the prior flavor from the other tea. So what's the role of the saucer? Well, let's think about how you use a guy wand. The tea leaves are going in there completely. You're gonna fill it up and we'll show you that in a little bit. And then you're gonna stick the lid on it and you're gonna let it brew. So think of a guy wand like a teapot. You're gonna steep in this. Then you get the fun choice of how you're gonna pour it out. So in a small one like this, and this one is actually my personal favorite thanks to the fish on it, you can pour out into a single cup and enjoy it there. When you have a big guy, like this one, which requires two hands, you're gonna really go out into a share pitcher because it's got too much liquid to go into cups. Um, and you can then, of course, distribute from there. If you get really adventurous, you can drink straight out of it. What you do is you just will gently kind of lean the side over, use your thumb and your fingers to balance it, and then drink directly. So let's talk about how you set yourself up to succeed in brewing in one of these. All right, so you've got your tea leaves in the guy wand. You've filled them up by about a third. Now we're gonna pour in the water. So how far do you go? You do not go to the edge of the guy wand. What you're looking for is the curve on the inside of the guy wand. You're going to pour just to the edge of the curve, okay? You can judge that a little bit. You'll get better at it with some practice. You're gonna use your lid to kind of stir around your tea leaves. This is what is fun about a gaiwan. You can actually see your tea leaves start to open up and you can enjoy them. So how long are you gonna let them steep? You're gonna start at 15 seconds. Keep in mind, you've got a lot of tea to water, so you don't want a long steep time. Once your 15 seconds are up, you're gonna pour off. Now you're gonna notice this lid fogged. Here's the other fun part of a gaiwan. You can smell the tea. So you pick up the lid, you take a whiff, and you will pick up the aroma of the tea. This is especially good um, and fabulous when you use jasmine green or any of your other scented teas like Lotus Blossom Black. So it makes it for a lot of fun uh, and a great exercise in truly appreciating your tea. So now that you know how to brew correctly in a guy wan, let's talk about some benefits here, right? We talked a little bit about smelling your tea, but the big deal is mouthfeel. If there is a really kind of special tea, like a white tea or a green tea, you wanna re reach for a guy wand because what you're gonna get is a little bit of particulate that comes through in the water because the leaves are directly in there uninterrupted and there isn't a strainer. It does take some practice, um, but it's a lot of fun. And as you go and grow in your kind of tea uh, world and experiment, I highly recommend use a guy wand. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It does take some practice. It might be a little frustrating up front, uh, but once you get used to it, you'll never turn back to a regular teacup for your certain special teas, um, especially your whites, your greens. And for those of you who are curious, we shot today with the Finwang Dankong, which is a gorgeous oolong out of China. Uh, that is also worth exploring on your own. So if you've got any more questions, leave them in the comments and thank you for watching.